Hello everyone. Today I'm very excited to share with you this new AI tool. It's called Adobe Firefly. It's an AI based tool developed by Adobe. Its beta version is out and looking like it's gonna be a game changer in the industry. So without any further delay, let's explore it a bit. Just go to your Google and type Adobe Firefly, press enter. The Adobe website appears, click on it. Click on explore Firefly beta. So the website opens. These are some of the tools that this Adobe Firefly has to offer. Text to image, generative fill, text effects, generative recolors, sketch to image, and much more. You can explore them on your own. I'm going to keep making videos on these different features this tool has to offer. But for now, we will try this generative fill as this one is appealing to me the most. Let's go to generate. Its description is use a brush to remove objects or paint in new ones from text descriptions. Sounds very promising. To get started, we need to sign in. So just sign in. I'm going to sign in with my Google account. Now that I have signed in, this page appears. We can upload our own image by clicking here or you can use these default images provided as examples. So I'm going to upload my own image. So first of all, I'll select this image. Now I want to remove this guy from the image. I have few options over here, insert, remove pan. I'll go to remove and I'll go to click on add and add the area that I want to remove. It's pretty simple. Just use it like a paintbrush that we use in Photoshop and other softwares like that. Just select the area that you want to change like this. You can even uh, go to settings and reduce the brush size and select these areas that are smaller in size once all selected just simply click on remove and ai is processing it it takes some time to process i have noticed that this tool is slower than some other ai tools that we have used so far probably because this is the beta version and firefly is done editing the image you can see that that man has been removed from this image and the background of the sea has been created beautifully it is also giving some other options that it has generated. You can choose whichever one you like. I think this one looks better and I'm just going to keep click on click keep and I have generated this image. People who know Photoshop know how difficult and time consuming this process is, but this AI tool has done it effortlessly. Now we can just simply download it by clicking over here. Click on continue. Let's view the image. Please note as this is the free version, so we have this watermark of Adobe Firefly beta that appears over here. Once you will have the paid versions, this watermark will disappear. So let's just close it. Now I want to experiment a bit more with this tool. This image was comparatively easier. Let's give AI something a bit more complex and explore some other tools. I have this landscape image. I'm just going to open it. And this time we are going to try this insert tool. So just select it, click on add and add the area that you want to update. Just use it like a paint brush and paint it all like this. I want to improve, increase the brush size a bit and add this sky that I want to change and I want to add something. Once done, you notice that we have this prompt generator saying describe the image you want to create. Just click on it and describe whatever you want to create. Let's say I want mountains with trees. Click on generate. Okay, so AI has generated an image for me. Looks pretty good. This is one option. I have got other options as well. Just click on them and you can see different options. Below this grass is from the original image and the background AI has generated according to my prompt. You can generate more by just clicking over here. AI is processing again and it will generate some new images for me. So AI is done processing and I have got three other options. Whichever one I like, I can just select and download or I can just keep creating more by clicking here. So this is how you can simply insert anything in an image with this Adobe Firefly. Let's go back and try some other image. Upload an image. This time I'll go with this one. Open. Now the third tool I'm going to try is this background one. Just click on it 
As you can see the background has been removed and only the object in front is visible to me and it is again giving a prompt that I can write. Now I want this guy to be standing in a car park. I'll just write car parking and let's see what happens. Click on generate. AI is processing it. It will take a few minutes. So AI is done processing and it has given me three different options. Not bad at all. I think I like this one the most. I can obviously regenerate more by clicking on more, but I think I'll just save this one. Click on download, continue and the image is saved. Let's just view it. Not bad at all. If you just zoom in, I see there is some glitches on the face part that I have noticed that this tool is struggling with in editing faces. But I hope when the full version launches, these problems will be solved. Anyways, that's enough for today. I hope you liked today's video. Don't forget to subscribe it and hit the bell icon to see more informative content. Take care. Goodbye.